Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 26th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 664, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. In today's episode, The Shadow with Van Gogh Gao and Ouyang Nana passes review. So does Men in Love with Hu Yitian and Liang Jie. Hu Ge likens holding his newborn baby girl for the first time to holding a piece of tofu. And the stars come out for 2022 Weibo Night. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here is what's recently premiered, just the one drama for today and the past few days. And that's Miss Chun is a Litigator, a costume drama starring Sabrina Chuang and Huang Junjie. It premiered on March 24th. Sabrina plays the titular Miss Chun, a military family's young lady who sets out to clear her father's name after he is wrongly imprisoned. She becomes a renowned litigator and wins the admiration of many, one of whom is Huang Junjie's character, a prince who is disguised as an assassin. Miss Chun is a litigator is slated for 20 episodes and is available on iQiyi with English subs. This is also supposedly just the first season, with a second one coming later. And that's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, dramas that recently announced their premiere dates. There's Pledge of Allegiance, a costume drama starring Leon Zhang and Chen Ruoxuan. I'd previously referred to it as Brotherhood of Blades, Shadow of Mountain and River. A couple of days ago, the drama announced a March 28th premiere. Leon Zhang last starred in the 2022 Republican era drama Checkmate with Hu Yitian. Whereas Chen Ruoxuan last starred in the 2022 sports drama To Our Dreamland of Ice with Peng Xiaoran. In Pledge of Allegiance, Leon Zhang is a petty thief who, due to a misunderstanding, becomes a member of the embroidered uniform guards. Chen Ruoxuan is an official son who is also a member of the guards. Together, they form a brotherhood and solve crimes. Rounding up the lead cast is Sun Yi's character, an assassin. Pledge of Allegiance is adapted from the movie Brotherhood of Blades, which stars Zhang Chen, Li Dongxue, and Wang Chenyuan. It is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. That's it for dramas with premiere dates. Moving on, dramas that recently passed review. I have a bunch for you guys. Beginning with The Shadow, starring Van Gogh Gao and Ouyang Nana, it passed review and obtained an online record number on March 16th. Van Gogh Gao made appearances in a few dramas like Kunlun Tomb and Defying the Storm in 2022, but his last starring role was in Operation Special Warfare. Ouyang Nana's last drama was back in 2020, when she starred in The Great Ruler with Roy Wang. In the shadow, Van Gogh plays a famous vampire who's lived for hundreds of years. He is almost assassinated by a group of masked soldiers, but is rescued by a blind girl played by Ouyang Nana, and her friend played by Dong Shicheng. For Dong Shicheng, also known as Win Win from the boy group NCT, this will be his first drama foray. Here is a behind the scenes picture of the two lead actors shared by Ouyang Nana a while ago. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Tencent. Another drama that recently passed review and obtained an online record number is The Trust, a costume drama starring Sung Yanfei and Zhang Haowei. It obtained its record number on March 24th. In the drama, Sung Yanfei is a general's daughter who is skilled at martial arts and thinks of nothing else. Zhang Haowei, on the other hand, is an emperor who prefers books to battles. The two are set to marry, and although they hate the idea, are forced to go through with it. One day, they fall into a pool and end up swapping souls. Living in each other's bodies, they gain different perspectives of each other and gradually fall in love. The Trust is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Mango TV. Then there's another costume drama, The Dauntless Youths, starring Li Zhuozhao and Chang Kangle. It passed review and obtained an online record number on March 24th. As the drama title implies, it follows a group of dauntless youths as they defend their home and country and at the same time find friendship and love. The drama is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Mango TV. Lastly, for dramas that passed review, Men in Love, a modern drama starring Hu Yitian and Liang Jie, it passed review and obtained a distribution license on March 23rd. 
online record numbers are for web dramas, distribution licenses are for TV dramas. In Men in Love, Hui Tian plays a magazine's disciplined and diligent editor-in-chief who is constantly helping a cute but clumsy PE teacher, played by Liang Jie, out of her embarrassing problems. Eventually, an obstacle-filled romance blossoms. The drama is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on IGE. And that's it for dramas that recently passed review. Next up, I have a piece on Blossom's Shanghai, the drama I'm most looking forward to this year. Its investors dropped a pretty penny to replicate 1990s Shanghai for it. Blossom's Shanghai is an upcoming drama starring Huka and Maili, and according to Sena Entertainment, they wrapped filming in January. Reportedly though, reshoots are still going. Sena published this picture, reportedly taken during the drama's wrap. In the middle, holding a bottle of champagne, is director Wong Kawai. I consider Wong Kawai one of Hong Kong's finest auteurs, so a collab between him and Hu Ke, one of Chinese drama's finest actors, is something I won't want to miss. Some time ago, CCTV6 reported that the drama would air in September this year. If that materializes, that would be three years since they started filming. In a recent interview, Shanghai Film Group chairman Wang Jianer said that the group invested 500 million RMB, approximately 73 million USD, on a filming location to replicate 1990s Shanghai that is portrayed in the drama. He was also quick to explain, however, that the location would also be used for future productions, so the 500 million sum wouldn't entirely be accounted for into Blossom Shanghai's budget. Blossom's Shanghai tells the story of Abao, played by Hu Ke, and how he goes from a broke young man to a self-made millionaire during the economic growth of 1990s Shanghai. It also delves into Abao's romantic endeavors with three ladies played by Mai Li, Tiffany Tang, and Xing Chi Lei. Staying on hookah but moving on to celebrity updates, the 40-year-old actor recently compared holding his infant daughter to holding a piece of tofu. Recently, on a talk show, Huka opened up about holding his now almost two-month-old daughter for the first time. This is how I once described it to a friend, he began. It's like holding a piece of tofu. I dared not move. I was afraid of shaking her apart. Huka continued, One time I was on a night shoot and my wife sent me a picture of my daughter sleeping. I saw her peaceful face and teared up. I asked myself, where do these emotions come from? Later, I found the answer. It's like in the past when I went to Tibet and Qinghai and saw the snow-capped mountains and the lakes. I felt those same emotions, that feeling of purity. She's just arrived in this world, hasn't been polluted in any way. And lastly, for celebrity updates, I gotta mention the recently held Weibo Night. It was a star-studded affair in Shanghai with some interesting awards. Weibo Night is an annual awards night hosted by Sina since 2004. According to Wikipedia, the nominees are determined by Weibo's index. The winners are determined by netizens' votes and quote-unquote comprehensive expert opinions. Sina published a summary of winners on the night. I'm obviously not going to go through all of them. Here are a few. Huka and Crystal Liu were awarded as Weibo King and Queen. Zhang Yimou was awarded as influential director for his body of work over the years. Crystal Liu, Xiao Chan, and Zhang Ruoyun won for Quality Actors of the Year. Cecilia Liu, Tiffany Tang, Tong Liya, Yang Mi, and Angela Baby won for Textured Actors of the Year. Tiffany Tang was not on stage for her award. There's actually a story there. Maybe I'll get into it another time. She was held at the door and essentially not let in. Wang Yibo, Da Peng, and Zhang Chiyu won for Breakthrough Film People of the Year. Dil Raba, Li Xian, and Yang Zi won for Expressive Actors of the Year. Simon Kong, Dylan Wang, Liu Wu, and Esther Yi won for Most Focused on Actors of the Year. Bai Lu, Guan Xiaotong, Rachel Mao, Song Yi, and Tan Jianchi won for Lead Actors of the Year. My interpretation of that is that it's something like Most Improved, as in Leap Forward. Not entirely sure about that though. And Elvis Han, Gina Jin, Li Yitong, Liu Yuning, and Zhang Jingyi won for Breakthrough Actors of the Year. There were many other honors bestowed on the night to singers, movies, variety shows, etc. The event ran around three and a half hours. Congrats to all the winners. 
And before we get to our last segment, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 165, March 26, 2023. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. Once and Forever, The Sun Rises. The modern drama stars Zhang Zimu and Zhang Kaitai. Number 9. The Invisibles. The modern drama stars Kenneth Ma and Natalie Tong. Number 8. Butterfly Shadow. The Republican era drama stars Feng Yue and Wei Dashun. Number 7, Never Give Up, the modern drama stars Ryan Zheng, Yuki Chen, and Dylan Wang. Number 6, Love Heals, the modern drama stars Peng Guan Ying and Wang Churan. Number 5, Warm on a Cold Night, the costume drama stars Li Yitong and Bi Wenjun. Number 4, Romance of a Twin Flower, the costume drama stars Ryan Ding and Peng Xiaoran. Number 3, The Journey of Chongzi, the costume drama stars Jeremy Xu and Yang Chaoyue. Number 2, Echo, the modern drama stars Song Jia and Wang Yang. And number one, Royal Rumors, the costume drama stars Jeremy Xu and Zoe Meng. Royal Rumors is championed for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 537 points. Next up, here are the top 10 TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, New Vanity Fair, the modern drama stars Huang Zitao and Wu Gang. Number 9, Our Ordinary Days, the modern drama stars Li Xiaoran and Li Naiwen. Number 8, Enlighten Your Life, the modern drama stars Zheng Yecheng and Wayne Liu. Number 7, The Starry Love, the costume drama stars Chen Xingxu and Lan Di Li. Number 6, Three Body, the modern drama stars Edward Zhang and Yu He Wei. Number 5, Miles to Go, the retro drama stars Chen Xiao and Li Qing. Number 4, Hello Beautiful Life, the modern drama stars Rachel Mao and Zhang Li. Number 3, The Knockout, the modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Zhang Songwen. Number 2, Road Home, the modern drama stars Xing Boran and Seven Tan. And number 1, Who Is He, the modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Chen Yusi. Who Is He ends the week with 599 points, making it champion for the first time since its premiere. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that takes us to the end of this episode. See you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.